What's up, Muscle and Strength? Hunter Labrada here, here to show you what I've been doing for my first and last meal every single day during the off season for the last 10 years. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna blend egg whites, we're gonna blend oatmeal, and uh, we're gonna add some peanut butter to it. And you can do this meal in under five minutes in the morning. You can drink it on the way to work. What I'm getting at is there's zero freaking excuses for not getting like a good breakfast in in the morning and a good last meal at the end of the day. In addition to being very quick, this is one of my favorite off-season meals solely for the fact that A, it's drinkable, and B, it doesn't sit long. So uh, off-season for me is all about being able to get as much food down as possible and keeping my digestion going. So this fits the bill. So we're gonna do three cups of oats, which is 240 grams of oats. And I'm gonna preface this by saying I normally do this shake in a Vitamix, which is a blender that will literally liquefy golf balls. I'm like marketing for Vitamix right now. Anyways, this blender isn't quite as nice as a Vitamix, so it might make it a little thicker than what it actually looks like when I have a Vitamix. I will preface this and say, if you're doing three cups, you're gonna need a nice blender. Two cups and under, any kind of blender will typically get the job done for you. Two cups of egg whites, so. We're gonna throw that in there. And then what we're gonna do is not pull a rookie maneuver and try and throw peanut butter in there until it says it's the right amount. If you tear this like that, so it's zero now. So anything that comes out of here is just pure peanut, purely the peanut butter coming out. So instead of me having you know, this on here, tearing this one out and it's saying zero and me coming here and trying to like, you know, spoon thwack it in there and hit, hit it on the dot and it's never gonna happen, trust me. Instead, just go like that, tear out the peanut butter and now like literally I can get the 40 grams that I want on the dot. Much easier than guesstimating spoonfuls of peanut butter. This prep honestly was the first prep I've done where we there weren't trace fats towards the end. And I think it made a huge difference in terms of, uh, you know, fullness and how, uh, and how I looked honestly. My body felt better doing that. So not never gonna be able to get it all in there, but you know, you gotta finish the peanut butter, right? So, huh? Okay. Well, that was a bad choice. I'm supposed to be talking, not peanut butter mouthed, right? So. I've been doing these twice a day for like 10 years now. I'm super used to how it tastes. If you're just getting into them, let me make a couple recommendations. You can use like a half a scoop of your favorite whey protein isolate to give it a little flavor. You can use sugar-free Hershey syrup to give it a little bit of flavor. You can use Splenda packets to give it a little sweetness. You can definitely add some flavor to it. Like I said, it's not a Vitamix, so what I'm gonna do actually is add a little bit of water to this so it'll actually blend. Throw that on the blender. All right, so y'all can watch me pour it. It's not too obnoxiously thick. See, not too bad, right? One shaker cups full of liquid. Drink it on your way to work, drink it on the way to the gym. No, don't drink that on the way to the gym, you'll have like a food baby. But uh, anyways, yeah, so in the shaker cup, there's 150 grams of carbs, 50 grams of protein, and 20 grams of fat. So it's a good bit of food, and it's about as good as it gets. Um, this is my favorite breakfast. This is my favorite last meal. I'm Hunter Labrada. This is for Muscle and Strength. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope you get some gains from these shakes. <laughs>